You might not know much about blindness right now, but you will by the end of this video. Hey guys, it's Molly here again, and as a blind person myself, I, of course, have a lot of blind friends. And after talking to them extensively about the topic of today's video, it seems like we all kind of feel the same way. There's a lot of things that to us as blind people are super obvious and we think should be obvious to other people, but clearly isn't uh, because we always seem to get asked the same questions every day over and over again. And it would just be so much easier if everyone just like knew the answers already. So with their help, I've compiled a list of all the things we think everyone needs to know about blindness. So in no particular order, let's get into it. We're blind, not deaf. We still use words like look, see, and watch. And it's okay for you to use those words around us too. We don't all wear dark sunglasses. No, most of us don't want to feel your face. It's totally possible to have a successful career, marriage, and life when you live with vision loss. 90% of blind people have some remaining vision. Only 10% of blind people see nothing at all. We don't all keep our eyes closed. You don't have to look a certain way or be a certain age to be blind. And you certainly cannot determine someone's degree of vision loss just by looking at their eyes. No, wearing glasses won't help. And neither will laser eye surgery. We are more than our blindness. Blindness is a part of me, but it's certainly not all of me. It's possible to be an amazing parent and raise an incredible kid, even though we can't see them. We can still enjoy visual things like watching movies, fashion, and tattoos. Being blind doesn't and shouldn't make you an automatically inspiring person. Blindness does not equal uneducated. Don't question our intelligence. Mom, what's two plus two? We like our independence just as much as anyone else. It's okay to ask questions, just try to do it in a polite way. Most of us would rather you ask and know the facts than assume and be wrong. We don't always want to talk about our blindness, so if we're just not having it that day, respect that. We don't need or want your sympathy or pity. We don't need you to change us or offer us your cures or solutions. Just accept us the way we are and we'll accept you the way you are. If we need help, we'll generally just ask. Don't assume we always need it or force your help upon us. Just like everyone else, we learn by doing, and sometimes that means making mistakes. We can't wait for self-driving cars. I mean, Uber's great in the meantime, but come on. There are a lot of devices and software out there that allows us to use technology just like you do. It's not about being blind in the 21st century. When you've met one blind person, you've met one blind person. We all have different interests, and we're all capable of different things. You can't assume we're all the same. We have sighted people in our lives. If I say something like, this lipstick matches my sweater, a sighted person probably told me so. If there isn't a sighted person physically in our life, then there's ways of working around that. We can Skype somebody, we can FaceTime them, there's even helpful apps like Be My Eyes. Chances are we have at least one thing in common. So you can't assume that because we're blind and you're not, we wouldn't be friends or we're not worth getting to know. Standing really close to us or putting your face in ours when we're talking doesn't mean we're going to see you any better. We might have to do things in a slightly different way sometimes, but we can and will find a way to get it done. When guide dogs have their harness on, they are not for petting. They've got a job to do. The dog doesn't know how to cross the street. That's up to the blind person to figure out. Yes, I do my own makeup. Blindness is a spectrum. We don't all see the same thing, and all blind people have a different amount of remaining vision. It's a cane, not a stick. At the end of the day, we want pretty much the same things out of life that most people do. Yeah, I'll have a medium pizza. So, I hope this video helped you to learn a little something about blindness that you didn't already know, and maybe even made you laugh, possibly a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know, but I feel like a lot of my videos are very serious, and I'm definitely, there's a very serious side to me, like that's definitely a part of who I am. But what a lot of my friends would see, and what I don't feel like you guys get to see often, is that I'm also very easygoing, laid back, lighthearted, I'm pretty sassy, I'm very sarcastic, and I love to joke around. And so I'm, lately I've been trying to show you guys a bit more of that side of my personality, and I hope 
Hope you guys are enjoying seeing a little bit of a different side to me. Um, that said though, I'm about to get serious again. I really feel like we live in an incredible world, but this world would be even more incredible if we all took a little bit more time to empathize and understand others that we may not initially understand. You know, take time to educate yourself on the LGBTQ plus community. Take time to educate yourself on different uh, religious backgrounds or people with different political beliefs than you. The world is a little bit wacky right now and I think we all just need to stay calm, take a deep breath, relax, and try to accept it. And I'm certainly not saying you have to agree with everyone on everything. Um, I think different opinions, different beliefs, different viewpoints is what makes this world so interesting and what keeps it going. Um, but, you know, when you can't change something, I think your only option is to accept it in order to be able to move on. And acceptance doesn't mean you have to agree with it. It just means that you have to accept that it's not going to change and that there might not be anything you can do about that. Um, and I, I know I say the same things all the time. Acceptance, uh, respect, communication, empathizing, understanding others. But I do really believe that these things will help make this world um, a much better place for all of us to share. And at the end of the day, we do have to share it. That's not changing anytime soon, hopefully. So I think it would make it um, a lot nicer for all of us. And that's it for today's video. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you learned something new. Um, definitely check out my social media, my Instagram, Molly Burke Official, Twitter, Molly B Official, Facebook, Molly Burke Official. Um, hit subscribe, check out those videos over there. That's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.